Hello everyone and welcome back to the C tutorial series. Today we're going to be actually compiling our Hello World program that we made in the last tutorial uh, in the series. And this is going to be a fairly short tutorial because we're just going to be covering a make file and building it and saying, hey, look, this looks beautiful. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the make file while I'm in there and then it's probably going to be done. So it's probably going to be like five minutes or less. So that's kind of cool. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So we left off with this beautiful program. Well, it's not too difficult. It's just, uh, you know, Hello World, uh, the first program that you write in any language. So it's just creating a character array and using formatted printing to print it. Uh, I covered this in the last tutorial. If you don't understand what's going on here, you should probably go watch that. And I covered libraries briefly. So let's go ahead and go into make files. So to make a make file, it's very simple. All you need to do is go to new text document. If you're on Windows or on Linux, you can just go to new file and call it make file. Sorry, like that. Do not use an extension because there is no extension on a make file and ensure the M is a capital M and write it just like I have it here. Now we're just going to go into that blank beautiful file and we're going to put some stuff in here. So I'm going to put T1, T1.C, I'll explain this in a second, and GCC minus O, T1, T1 dot C. Okay, kind of froze up on me there. Okay, so I'm going to explain what's going on here. So this first T1 before the colon, this is saying what we want to build it as for the executable. So this can really be any arbitrary name. Uh, you can make this YouTube or whatever you want to do. And this is just the name of your C file. Um, I actually renamed mine. It's no longer t1.c, sorry, it's main.c. I had this t1.c in the previous tutorial. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to rename that to main.c. And then same case here. So basically, so yeah, so you have the the name of the executable that you want to build, and then you have the main file, uh, this this main source file. You're telling it that's what you want to build. Right, right here we have GCC. For those of you that don't know, GCC stands for GNU Compiler Collection. It is, uh, as you may have guessed, a compiler. It's commonly used for C and C++, or it might actually be G++ if that. I can't remember. Yeah, I'm not, I can't remember right now. Um, but anyways, yeah, we, we're using this to compile our C code. And then this minus O is basically telling it to make an object file, uh, which contains the binary. And we're calling it to make the, the executable YouTube. And we're linking in the main.c file. Now, we don't need to worry about linking yet, uh, because we're not using multiple files. But when you start using multiple files, and you have header files, and you have a whole bunch of other stuff, you're going to need to make sure you link them when you compile them, or you're going to get a whole bunch of errors, because um, it won't be like assembled uh, correctly. Uh, they won't actually be included in the program at all. So we'll, we'll cover that later. We don't need to go over that now. For now, you just need to know if this is the name of your uh, your executable that you want to create. This is the name of the executable you want to create. And the .c files here, the main .c, that is your source code. If you name this t1.c, like from the last tutorial, you can just safely replace that with whatever, and with t1.c, and replace both of them here. And you can replace this with t1 or whatever you want to, because that's just going to be the name of the executable. So once you've done that, uh, you can go ahead and go into your folder with your beautiful files here and your you could use uh, cygin or uh, if you're using linux just open terminal but i can just open command uh, command window and do it from there so i'm going to do that um, but you could use the cygwin terminal um, so when you're in here all you're going to need to do is type make it's really that simple it's just going to basically put this command in here for you and it's going to make the file and as you can see there it is youtube.exe it's beautiful and if we go ahead and type youtube to run the executable there we go hello world it kind of ran a virus scan on it uh, i don't think we need to worry about a virus scan in the program like this but anyways it printed hello world it's beautiful we have it compiled and we have implemented a basic make file now some of you may be wondering why can't we just use gcc why can't we just go like you know gcc minus o youtube main.c and you can do that that will work and it will build the file um, but make files are typically used in bigger projects and enterprise and I thought I would go with that anyway because they're a lot more maintainable and they're a way of keeping record and they're they're good for managing projects so we're going to be using make files right now very simple but it will get more complex we can add some cool things in there and make this really useful but right now it's just it's just doing a basic compile we haven't done anything too fancy yet I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, please leave a like below, comment any questions or comments you guys may have on the video, and subscribe. 
And we will be getting into logic and control flow in the next video, so that's going to be fun. So stick around with that and see, and I will see you guys later.